video time let's talk about batteries today i want to talk to you about how to add a balancer to some of these lev 60 cells uh packs that we're making right so these are the lev 60 cells very powerful they're very affordable very high quality and we're making packs 12 volt pack for all kinds of uses this is the small one this is the most common one that we're selling but then we make one that's twice this has four cells in series but then we have uh, four cells in series with two cells in parallel. So this is twice uh, the energy and the power output and stuff. And then this is the same thing. So we make several versions. But today I'm going to show you on this little one how to add a balancer. And it works the same on all of our 12 volt batteries. They all have the same little connector here. And then they have this connector too. Uh, this one has it there. Uh, same with this one right there uh and then the big one's not populated so these batteries here are new and they're very well matched right their characteristics are very closely to each other but like everything in this, un this universe nothing is perfect and so for that reason they need a device called a bms or a balancer a bms it's a, a system that will keep these cells balanced and if any of them go out of balance or any of them get too hot or fall out of spec then the bms will shut it off and it will not let it will basically disconnects the battery pack so it doesn't charge or it doesn't discharge right so a balancer is uh, a simpler bms right it's uh, it's just the balancing part of it and all it does is just keeps the battery at the same voltage it doesn't have the ability to disconnect the battery and the reason why we're using balancers in this one and not a full-fledged bms is because of the amount of power that these cells can do. These cells can do 600 amps for 10 seconds. They can do eight, uh, 400 amps continuous. And so those levels of power require a really, really big uh, and inefficient uh, switch. Uh, and so those BMSs don't make sense for this application here. They make application for a lot of other battery systems, but for these 12 volts, the way they're using them, for in uh, car audio, uh, primarily for car audio, you could use these for anything that's 12 volt, but primarily for that application, it doesn't make sense to use a BMS, right? It's just too inefficient. It's too big, too cumbersome, too expensive. And so for that, we're using a more basic device that is just balances the cells, right? So here's a connector and it's labeled B minus at the top, C2, C3, C4, and then B plus. What the B minus means is that the, that's the battery's negative terminal and the B plus is the battery's positive terminal. What you need to do when you get a uh, balancer is you need to connect, the, connect it here. These are screw terminals. You will require a little screwdriver. Okay, when you get this battery, the first things you have to do is you have to open up those little things. So you have to push twisted counterclockwise until that that little thing lowers and now you open up the little port now you can stick a cable in there all right let's talk about the different kinds of balancers that you can get there are uh, a bunch of these ones that are sealed like this um and they have like a button to turn it on and off they have like a little light so it does tell you if it's working or not there's another one here but these ones are like really big these ones will handle up to 24 cells uh this one i think is the same 24 cells i don't know but these are way too big you don't need that there's only four cells here so you can get these little ones this one right here it's a very popular one the Heltec, and this one operates slightly different than that but i guess people get good results for there so it's very cheap uh and it's available everywhere i bought this one on amazon this is the one that we like to use and the reason why we like to use this one is because this one has a screen and it has settings so you could actually see it working and you could actually get those cell voltages on these ones you're blind you connect them and you just hope that they're working and if they're working everything's fine but the day that stop working you don't really know then things might be okay or things might not but you're kind of blind fly, flying blind now this is a good idea if you're gonna put it on a on a box like you put your battery there and then you seal this battery inside of a box then you don't have to worry about it uh you just kind of put faith that these are going to be working and this one if you put it in here and you seal it in a box then also the screen doesn't help you at all because then you're not you know you can't check it and you can't do the balancing feature right so the this ones are always automatically balancing where this ones you have to tell it to balance and then once it reaches balance it stops 
and then it doesn't start again. You'd have to come here and then click the button again. So there are pros and cons to both of these, uh, but we really like this one because it lets, it gives you more info and it tells you that it's working or not. And you can see and verify that it's working or these ones, you just never know. If you get a bad one, right? Like a defective one, you just, you, you wouldn't know. You just, you connect it. And if you don't see smoke, then you don't know that it's bad, but it might not be working, right? So you have to decide which ones you're gonna go with. We are making these things work with that. And these are literally the uh, easiest ones to do because we offer this little cable here and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so this cable here is spaced exactly as the same distance as this connector. It's a 2.5 millimeter, right? So you put this in here, this side with the little pins, you put it in there. You put the black one. If you have a black one, sometimes they don't have a black one. Then you put it on the and the B minus. And then you tighten up the screws here. And then you grab your Batco. This one is uh, labeled here. It's got the negative right there. So you, that's where you put the black cable or the negative lead. Boom. And it just turns on and now you can see where the cells are at the battery's at 13.31 volts so that's about nominal each cell it's at 3.3 and there's a difference of five mill four millivolts between all the cells so these are oh wait a minute uh okay so this one is set to the lipo setting so you need to change that because these are lithium iron phosphate so it's lipo 4 battery type so you go here life you go back okay now you get to see that they're in right in the middle right so you see those little bars there so it shows you graphically and numerically it shows you where they're at and then to balance the cells you just go in here and then you go cells balance and then you start balancing and then it's going to try and balance that five millivolts but five millivolts is you know very close so you don't even need to balance that this is how easy you install this uh the batco balancer in here right and so again like i explained a lot of pros because you can see the voltage you can see it working you can tell it when to do it when to not do it uh but if you want to seal it in a box so now let's install this one okay so this is the heltec 3s 4s flying capacitors balancing uh first things you notice here this is all exposed you don't want to connect this in here and then just have it touch anything metallic here because those are all live posts what i suggest is you isolate this i'm going to use some tape in here to isolate the bottom okay so here we go it's all nicely isolated next you're going to take your balancer and then you're going to connect your cable okay so it's the same thing so this is the the black one is the b minus the red one is the b plus and then it just goes green yellow white right so i'm not gonna cut this cable so i'm gonna connect the black one to the b minus then the green one is the next one then the yellow one okay so now we connected it in there and now we have a light in the back i guess that's an indication that it's working again be very careful not touch any of those cables any of those posts with this so i would tape it in here there we go, just use some Captain tape to put it on there. All right, and there you go. Now you have your Heltec balancer in here. Now you could put this inside of a box or you can use it as is. Now your cells should remain balanced as they go up and down in charge. So it's that easy. It's already all worked out here. It's got this little connector. Okay, I hope this helps you guys that are buying these batteries or are trying to use them. If you have any questions, post them in the comments here and then we'll try our best to answer. By the way, these works the same for all of these 12 volt batteries that you can find at jack35.com. And by the way, these batteries are pretty, pretty affordable at $150 and $299 for those. They're basically the same price. I think you will have a hard time finding the same level of performance with lithium iron phosphate batteries in the market that they can put as much power as these. So take advantage while those prices are active, right? We have a lot of these, but we're selling a lot of them so they will not last forever. So if you're on the fence of buying one of these, I would suggest you pull the trigger and buy them because they're not gonna be here forever uh, and they're gonna run out. Once these cells are gone, they're gone forever. We're gonna move on to some other types of cells. So this is a really good deal but it's limited for in time, right? So uh, limited stock. These are not in production anymore. So once they're gone, they're gone. There you go, go to jacktify.com so you can get take advantage of this deal right here. Okay, thank you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.